Hi everyone, it's Michelle with Crafty Brews and I am here to share um, a journal that I have done. Uh, please don't judge me because I am not a journal maker. This is actually, I want to say, my first real, real journal that I've ever made. Um, and I started this a long time ago. Uh, like maybe, I don't know, over a half a year ago. Uh, maybe a year ago. But anyways, um, I didn't have the rings to put on it. So now I, I got these rings. Uh, they're from Tim Holtz. They're little tiny mini ones. And they were perfect for this journal because uh, my daughter's friend is getting this. And she isn't going to be adding to it. Uh, she's just going to be using it to keep notes in and stuff like that. So uh, let me go ahead and show you real quick here uh, what I've done. I've made this uh, fringy type. Uh, tassel out of different uh, fabrics and I've added a key to it and I have used uh, digital paper um, to go on the cover as well as some Lady Vagabond chipboard pieces that uh, my daughter gave me and um, these are uh, plastic gears and they come in the button section um, I want to say maybe Walmart or you know what I'm not even really sure but these were just plastic gears and they look really cool on here so I went ahead and added those and then you open it up and I have these um, corners that um, are uh, chipboard uh, corners and I just uh, distressed them and inked them uh, to be able to add this uh, little uh, tiny portable journal. It's got uh, just a few pages in here and uh, they are coffee dyed papers and that is so that she has that spot there to journal in if she chooses to. And then, oops, let's get that pushed all the way back. And then I've got um, a bunch of papers here. Um, she has got uh, one signature here and this is all uh, brown paper bag papers. And then I have a chipboard, uh, not chipboard, but a cardstock uh, divider here, and it has um, some more of the digital papers that were uh, cut out and inked and put on here just to uh, decorate it. And then on this side, it has some more of the Lady Vagabond uh, chipboard pieces, and I thought those were really, really cool on here. And I have made um, a pocket to put on here. So it has a uh, tuck spot here and a tuck spot here. And then there is also one over on this side. And this one is just a little uh, journaling card. So uh, that one goes right here. Uh, let me get that back in there. And then I have this tag that can be journaled on. And that goes right here. And then this is just another little tiny notebook. Um, that tucks in right here. So I'm giving her plenty of places that she can take notes and write. Um, here's some more uh, paper. I want to say that this might be the orange dyed. This is the orange dyed paper. Uh, Boo dyed paper for me. And she used oranges for this one. And then I have some of the drawing paper from the Dollar Tree in there. And I've got some of the school writing paper in there and more of the drawing paper. And then I want to say this is avocado dyed paper that Boo did. Uh, Boo had dyed a bunch of paper for me uh, before. Um, she's going to do it again pretty soon, but we just haven't had the time to yet. And then I have more of the drawing paper and more of the writing paper. And then it goes into a few more pages of the uh, paper bag paper. And then I have another pocket that I've made here. And uh, this is out of cardstock also. And then I just used the digital paper over the top of it to make my, my pocket. And actually on this one, there's two pockets. There's one here and there's actually one here too. So there's two little pockets here. And the back pocket holds this uh, other little uh, journaling book that I have made her. And um, it has a pocket and that's... Uh, a digital postcard piece and uh, with this little pocket and I, I need to add a little 
a little tie to that. So I'll do that when I'm done here. And then it has some of the uh, paper bag papers. There's a few in there, like maybe eight or ten. And then that is the back of the digital piece of paper. So that just goes right inside of there for her. And then you turn it over and I have another pocket here. I have put nothing in here. This will be for her to tuck something in if she wants to. And then it has some more of the uh, paper bag papers. This is a lighter type of paper bag. Um, I save all the, the bags that I, I get things in that I can actually reuse. And I love the feel of this bag because this is a real thin bag. So I just, I really like the way it feels. Oh, this is not. This is a um, another piece of the avocado dyed paper that uh, they did. And then um, there's more dyed paper there. And then this is the very back. In the back, I have taken a craft envelope and I have um, put a, a glued um, digital paper on this. I uh, first put one here and then I uh, did a solid brown up here. And this is for her to, to tuck away one of her, uh, whatever, not one of her, whatever she would like to, like photos or something like that, special things that she has to keep. And it also has one of the Vagabond, uh, Lady Vagabond pieces. And this says, there is in all artists a little of the Vagabond. And I just thought that was so beautiful. And then uh, this is the back. So, um... It is, like I said, uh, my first real, real journal that I've done. So uh, please, guys, tell me what you think. Um, be gentle with me because it's my first. And uh, I, I'm, I'm open to any suggestions if you think I should have done something different or, or uh, maybe added uh, things differently. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. I thank you guys so very much for watching today and I appreciate you all. If you like this video and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And if you liked my video, give me a thumbs up and let me know that you did. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderfully blessed day. And I, again, I thank you so very much for being here with me. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.